learned about how to f- deal with sigma notation, which is basically asking you to find the sum of the terms of a, of a sequence. And we're going to take a look in a little more detail now at how we find the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence, otherwise known as an arithmetic series. Let's take a look at an example. If we consider the series that consists of the first 100 natural numbers. So your natural numbers are your counting numbers. And the series will look like this. SN is the um, symbol we use to represent series. And we add the numbers 1, 2, 3, all the way to 100. So ending with 98, 99 and 100. I'm sure you can see that it will take a long time to actually add those numbers up manually. So let's see if we can find a way to make it a bit easier. And one of the tricks we use is to write the pattern in the reverse order, write the series in the reverse order. So starting with number 100 and ending with number 1. If we now add those two equations together, something very interesting happens. SN plus SN is 2SN. And each of the columns adds up to 101. Each column will add up to 101. And this will be true of any series, not just the series of natural numbers. If you reverse the series and write them underneath each other for an arithmetic series, of course, each column will add up to exactly the same number. Now, there we added the first 100 natural numbers, so there were 100 terms of the sequence. In other words, we have got 100 101s. Okay, so if we want to write that out more simply, we can say that 2SN is actually equal to 100 101s, 100 multiplied by 101. We can then work out what 100 times 101 is, divide both sides by 2, and we get the sum of the series to be 5050. Now, Clearly, we are not going to do this every time we want to find the um, value of a series, so we need to generalize this and find a formula that we can use. So, in general, if we write out the terms of a series, it's an arithmetic sequence of the terms of which we're adding together. So, term 1 will be A, term 2 will be the first term plus the constant difference, term 3 will be A plus twice the constant difference, etc., etc., the last term, the nth term of the pattern, will be a plus n minus 1d. And because the term that before came before it is 1 before the n minus 1d, it will be represented by a plus n minus 2d. If we now do the same pattern and we write the sequence in reverse, a will be now matched up with a plus n minus 1d, etc., etc., we can now add the two equations together. Sn plus Sn is twice Sn. A plus A is 2A plus N minus 1D. If we just check the second column, A plus D plus A plus, uh, sorry, plus A plus N minus 2D. If we tidy that up, plus ND minus 2D. A plus A is 2A plus ND, okay, plus D minus 2D is minus D. If you now take the D out of these two terms as a common factor, you get the N minus 1, D. So we take D out as a common factor, that leaves us with N and negative 1. Okay, so each column will add up to 2A plus N minus 1D. And because we are generalizing, there will be n terms of this pattern. So there will be n 2a plus n minus 1d's. So let's just have a look at what that looks like. There will be n of these 2a plus n minus 1d's. We now need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So n over 2 is equal to 2a plus n minus 1d. And this is the formula that we use to determine the value of an arithmetic series. So if we know the first term and we know the constant difference and we know how many terms of the series we have, we can substitute the values in in order to find the value of the series. Let's take a look at some examples. Please pause the video and try these on your own. Number one, find the sum of the first 30 terms of an arithmetic series 
with Tn equals to 7n minus 5. So remember that Tn gives us the general formula that we can use to find any term of the sequence. So term 1 will be 7 times 1 minus 5, which is equal to 2. If we want the difference, in an arithmetic sequence, the coefficient of n gives you the difference, but if you want to just double check, you can calculate the second term of the sequence, which is 9, and the difference between 9 and 2 is positive 7. Okay, so we now have enough information to determine the sum of the series. The formula is n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. We now want the sum of the first 30 terms, so our n value is 30, our a value is 2, n value is 30, and the constant difference is 7. If you substitute and plug those values into your calculator, you get the sum to 30 terms of being 3,105. Question 2. Given an arithmetic sequence with term 2, so we know that the sequence is arithmetic, term 2 is equal to 7, and the difference is equal to 3. How many terms will have a sum of 2146? Now, whenever we see the word sum, we know that we have to work with the series. The, ser the series gives us the sum of the terms of a pattern. Okay, so in order to use our series formula, we need to know the first term and the constant difference. Constant difference is given, and we were told that term 2 is equal to 7. So term 1, term 2. We know that term 2 is 7, and we know that the difference to get from term 1 to term 2 was to add 3. That means that term 1 must have been 4. So we now have enough information to substitute into our series formula. So SN, here it's a little bit different because they haven't asked us to find the sum. They've given us the sum. So we know that the value of SN is 2146. What we don't know is how many terms we added to get that value. So we don't know what n is. We know that a is 4 and that the difference is 3. Okay, if we tidy that up, and over 2, that gives us 8 plus 3n minus 3. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So we will have n into 3n plus 5. And 2146 multiplied by 2 is 4292. I can see that this is going to be a quadratic equation because n times 3n is 3n squared, so we need to equate to 0. This is a slightly more difficult expression to factorize because 4292 has got, has got big factors and, and they take a bit of a long time to find, so I'm going to just use my formula B, um, negative b plus minus the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In other words, the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So therefore, n will be negative 5 plus or minus the Square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 4,292 is equal to 227. You can check that value on your calculator. And so that means that n will be positive 37 or n will be negative 116 over 3. Now n represents the term number in a pattern. You can't have a negative fractional term value, so we reject the second solution. So that means that this series had 37 terms.